Welcome back to episode 42 of Art Book Reviews and we're continuing my, I guess, quest to get as many Muslim art books as I can. Um, interestingly enough, this is only a tier 1. This is just a standard picture book, which I was a little sad about. Considering how much of a thick boy this is, this has got a lot of pages. Um, from what I gathered, there's three um, art books in the CG Artworks line. And I'll have to say this, I will not be buying two or three of them in this set because, well, frankly, I'm pretty disappointed with it. I only paid 15 quid because I got it second hand uh, on the bidding but from what I can see online it's on average £40 I would not pay £40 for this and I would highly recommend you don't if you are a hardcore monster hunter fan like me maybe the £10-15 you might appreciate but mm, it is difficult so there's a standard slipcase. One art uh, book. It's not too bad, it doesn't slide too much. As I said, it starts sliding. Um, the spine is not too much of a problem. It is a bit tight, but they have had decency to keep things far enough away from the middle so it doesn't cause much problems. So it will fight back against you a lot, which is a little bit annoying due to how tight it is. Um, and it has caused, oh it's textured, I didn't realise that, so the picture bits of textured on top of it. Anyway, um, it has caused me a lot of trouble trying to get the photographs for the uh, thumbnail. So you might see them a bit weird, the thumbnail. Uh, interesting, if it starts off and ends with this really nice textured paper, but the rest of the paper is not like that, so I don't understand why they've done that, but they have. You get if you really want it a poster of the front cover both in the black and white version like the front cover is and a colour version as well uh, so this is in Japanese but there is, is barely any text I mean you got the contents in English but well you've got the title I always thought find the titles in English but the rest of it's not um, but there's barely any writing, so the fact that it's in Japanese isn't a problem. Uh, the only problem is when you get the big ones, like the ones I've shown previously, where you need it in English, which is why I'm kind of annoyed they haven't translated Iceborne or Rise art books yet. Hold on, Capcom. So we have... Uh, so basically, as you can tell, it is um, just... Like I say, CG it is, there is no sketches, there is no concept art, there is no um, plans or designs, it's just finalised images, 3D models, and the lot, and the works really, it's a bit, I don't know, it's interesting though, Cap. but one thing that's quite cool though, is these monster size lineups, the size of that bad boy. I'm trying to think, I don't think he's been in since two. How's he really? This, uh, I guess, might as well say that this book covers the first, second game and the portable, portable two. Advertisers try at the back, but so it's up to one and two. So if you want a modern monster to play, or you're like me, we started to try. Some of this might be a bit like, oh, I don't know what that is. Um, but I would love for one of these kind of posters so there's a hunter there right the way. Come on with monsters. It reminds me of that Borderlands poster I've got on the wall up there. But Borderlands 2. I love a poster like this. Although does have to make it a bit more distinct so you can tell which things are which. But, yeah, well, they'll get nice things like that. I guess these might be just front cover things. So you're just getting... Quite just kind of us some commercial artwork in the same game. Yeah. I'm guessing these are like 
if it's from like the cutscenes in game, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I mean, what to say really? Then here's some screenshots in the game cutscenes. And because old ones, it's very low res. I mean, yeah, I think sort of cutscene stuff, is it? That's, that's what it looks like to me. Now get some of the uh, bigger versions of these uh, images, which is quite nice actually. Because they're so tiny in the game, so I guess that's quite nice. That's quite a cool one. Where's the game marker? So that's, that's, that's what it is. And it's Monster Hunter 1. G two Pobble Pobble second. Yeah, so it just does. Very nice picture of Kushan Dark though. But you get stuff like this which is worth seeing. But uh what else? Stuff interview. I'm this is a stuff interview in English and everything else in Japanese. Why why necessary for the English there? You lose out on the stuff interviews, I guess. These are quite cool, though. All the little bits of mo monsters, but they're so tiny. That plus be size difference. Oh, I see. So that's the human. I see. So that's the size scale. Okay, interesting. Um, those are monster pictures, but they're so small. What are you really getting out of it? Not really much. And again, because it's old, it's low res. Ugh, what a creepy thing that is. So there's a mossy version of Staru, isn't it? Destroyer of Worlds. Oh, Rajan goes all the way back in 2 as well. Blimey. Yeah, what's that? Raven Gold, right? Oh. Um. No, I guess not. And we've got our CGs. The old polygons. The action pose is quite cool and everything, but again, I mean, you got stuff like, you know, that you get to see some detail, but when they're hunched over, you can't see the armor. So, what? You just pictures of cool action poses, I guess. Which is, I guess, cool and all, but I mean, it's you're not getting much out of it, really, are you? <laughs> sure, I haven't removed these yet. I've got any more of these little odd things. Pirate armor. Oh, that's the one. I guess that's to order something. I think I see something in pages here. Uh, it's spinal pages. Anything? Am I missing something? It's in hidden. It's cool to see swords, I guess. Uh, I'll give it this. The weapons, I don't mind being this size. I mean, that's a bit small. But this kind of size is alright because they're not that big. There's not much detail to show. But that, that shows you enough detail, these ones here. Um, See, everything in terms of great swords, it's quite cool. Yeah, there's weird, like, texture. Um, I guess the sword bit of it's quite cool and big, but... Huh. 2009 Monster Hunter card game, which, from what I gather, I did look it up once. Lasted about a year. Which is a massive shame. I would love a Monster Hunter card game. If you ever find someone getting rid of the old monster of the cards, I'll probably bite their hand off. It's, that's a cool thing. I'm a big monster guy, obviously. Um, I actually have an idea. I actually came up with a rule set of like a really cool like, monster on the cards game. I'm all to try to put it out at some point and people might get a laugh out of it. I may try making, making some copies to play with some friends. Uh, more weapons, more weapons, more weapons, I guess. I don't know what else to really say. Ooh, weapons. Characters, I guess it's showing off the different starting. Yeah, 
set. Interesting enough, this hasn't really changed because this was your starting thing. Try as well. <laughs> this hasn't changed. I mean, so tiny. What is the point? What is the point? It's so small, we can't really make out the details. Oh my god, it's even worse. Taking over so tiny. I mean, I don't understand when you've got so much armor, it's not like it becomes really hard. Uh, ooh, the pogies. Adorable, the pogies. Wait, one second. We've got a dodgy mustache in that guy. Ah, feel like. Just the lines of those shapes. Really? Just the same outfit. Here's all the different colour scheme variants. Ay, ay, ay. More cutscenes. Ah, yeah, it doesn't really make much. I'm just doing more stuff in your views. There we go. Then click a little bit more zooming of some of the diagrams and then we get the standard tiny ones. Huh. The CG art for the signs and advertisements when you put in game shops. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> what the hell? Pokey Kiwi. Oh, that's all right. See, there's just. Fill this back bit with just it's all different types of weird, you know, covers and advertisements and posters we did for the game. That's good. Oh my gosh. No post up and there's the advertisement for try and index, I guess. Ooh. I always hear that. Ooh. Oh, I didn't actually know that. Oh, um, how to make out though, exactly. Interesting idea, didn't they? I didn't know that was a thing. Ah, huh. oh, that's the uh, cover of the crap to the feelings. Like that. Come on. Oh, let's cover some of As you can tell, me going through that wasn't the most thrilling conversation. It's just like his some of 3D renders of this character, this arm, this fin, um, but very, very tiny. It just feels like, you know, you, you make such a big ass thing like that, it just feels a bit of a waste of resources. You know, it's not doing things like this, Capcom. Give me English versions of your of the other decent art books. Or something, I don't know. Or just give me hit a few favorite monsters and do really, really detailed breakdowns of how they were designed how they were made and changes mm -hmm. were, you know during games i guess that would be far better than this um but i got this on my quest to get art books which i didn't need to catch up on my japanese and learn again Trying to be just trying to learn Japanese while the slacks are a nightmare. Anyway, this has probably gone on for long enough this episode. Um Final thing, I do not recommend it. That breaks my heart to say that for Muslim art book. But sadly, it is the case. Next time I'll try to find a better Muslim art book. But until then, goodbye.